Howdy there folks, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and today is Triple M, Mac Madness Monday. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate your support through these continued weeks, and today we have a very, very cool Mac application. Now it's not one that you're going to die without, but it's one that once you have it, you will die without it. It's kind of like HyperDoc, uh, well not like HyperDoc at all, but it's like that in the connotation and in the sense that you need it once you have it. And so you may want to stay away if you fear you may become addicted. It only works on 10.6 Snow Leopard, so if you're running Leopard or Tiger or anything before that, this will not work for you. It's called Total Finder. Now Total Finder basically maximizes the Finder's capabilities. I'm not a Finder hater, but I definitely think that it has some shortcomings. I really think Apple has some work to do on it, and I was really disappointed to see that in 10.7 Lion, it wasn't really redesigned. It was about the same. There are better ways to navigate through stuff, and maybe it's just because us power users don't get focused on well enough, but, um, you know, this allows you to maximize your browsing experience in the Finder and through your system files. So I'm going to show you what it's all about, how to use it, and if it's worth the $15 that you pay for it. So the first and probably one of the handiest things is tabbed browsing. It has a very Chrome-esque browser. Um, if you take a peek at that, you can have multiple windows open. You can open your documents section and you'll see that everything is in store and everything is ready to go. So uh, you can have multiple windows open, same hotkeys, same commands, lie in store. Close those, no problem at all. Now, one thing to note about Total Finder is it doesn't clash or collide with the finder at all. In fact, it works very harmoniously. It simply replaces the finder. You can revert to the original finder if you don't like this or if anything goes awry. Uh, all it does is it replaces the finder and uh, that way it is totally integrated. It's not a separate app. It doesn't consume any more CPU. You'll notice it's just as fast and just as snappy as ever. So we have tab browsing, little feature, but a nice one. Next we have dual mode and I'm gonna save this for when we have the visor. The visor is a very cool, and I'll pop it up right now, but the visor is a very cool little shortcut or hotkey that allows you to bring the finder up in any application at all. So let's open Google Chrome. We'll go to uh, Chrome right here. Very fantastic. We are then going to press the hotkey, and this is the one I've set. Yours may be different. Mine is Control Option Command T. And uh, what will happen was, or is rather, you'll see that this window pops up. Now, this allows you to universally access the Finder no matter where you are. So you don't have to be in the way, you don't have to be on the Finder and then click the Finder window and then have it pop up. You can just get it to pop up right then. So that's very handy, very nice feature. Um, other than that though, I mean, this is the visor. You can pop it up and down, no problem at all. And uh, you can also have tabs and everything of the like. And now we are going to do the dual mode. If you press command U, it pops up two windows simultaneously together. And this is what I love about Total Finder. There are so many times where I'm trying to look at two folders simultaneously to see file changes or to drag one to a one or the other. And opening multiple windows or tabs just isn't convenient. This way you have two windows side by side that both have searches, that both have everything you need. It is fantastic and I absolutely love it. Dual mode is probably the number one reason I love Total Finder, but that's not all the features you're going to find in it. You uh, have different sorting options, so you can give uh, your computer the ability, sorry, you can give your computer the ability, when I pop this back up, to uh, sort by file type. So we can sort by folder, we have a bunch of files in here, let's say I know I'm looking for this certain folder, but I don't want to have to go alphabetically to where I think the folder is, because sometimes you have thousands of files in one place and it does get very confusing. So you can click view, there's also a hotkey, but I've forgotten it, uh, folders on top. So shift command, uh, what was it, period or semicolon? Shift command semicolon will put the folders highest priority. So you can get everything else out of the way, get to your folders and get where you need to be. I really like that sorting option and that's a really killer feature in my mind. Uh, then you can revert to how it was just before and you're good to go. You can also access system files. It's not very often most people, I mean developers use it all the time, but it's not very often most people need to access system files like HT access files and all that other stuff. But there is a time when those come in handy and there is a time when you're doing a terminal tip or something where you do need to do that. And so there is a hotkey for that, it's shift command period, and you can see all the very unpretty, very unorganized files that OS X is built upon. And you can go in there and modify them and it's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to hide those again. 
Let's talk about uh, cut and paste. This is another feature that is killer in my mind, and it's what makes this application worth the $15. Let's say we have our favorite wallpaper right here, background.jpg. Rather than have to copy and paste it, that's a problem in OS X because it creates two different versions. Now, of course, you could open uh, dual window mode and then drag this. You could go navigate to the folder you want and then drag it over into um, you know, photos. But let's say we want to do it easily and quickly. So let's hide this window. Let's say that's not there. We're in a regular finder window. We can cut the file. So if we do Command X, you'll see it goes transparent and it's ready for us to paste it. So we can paste it anywhere, including in our photos. But you can also do it in the uploaded video section, which is awesome. So if you're uploading something into the net, you can take a bunch of files cut them and then paste them in your browser and they don't stay on your computer but they stay in the cloud excellent excellent but let's go into photos here we go and we are ready to paste so we push command v and that file has moved it's not a duplicate it's not an alias the file itself has moved to the new folder so those are the basic features of dual finder uh, excuse me total finder you may not see it as a big idea you may not see it as something that's vitally crucial but it really does optimize your finder experience once I've used it for, it's been about three weeks now. Since I've used it for about three weeks, I've become addicted to it. Total Finder is my blood and I will never move back from it. It was well worth the $15 and you will enjoy it very much as well. So you can pick it up from their website, which is down below. It is not available in the Mac App Store, probably because it modifies system files and Apple isn't too keen on that. So... There you go. That being said, though, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, maximize your finder, and let me know. What do you want to see for tomorrow's Terminal Tip Tuesday? And what do you want to see for next week's Mac Madness Monday? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.